What's what's that? What's that mean to this program and to these kids and to this community? You know, it, it's been a great season as far as just first time in lots of years type of a type of deal. Um, you know, first winning season since 2007, first time in the playoffs since then, first playoff win since then. Um, you know, Holton's never won a, a district title, so to have the opportunity to do so um, is great. Uh, the community's loving it. Um, great support from the community. We just had a bunch of community members chip, chip in to get us a bus. Um, you know, it's just an amazing feeling to, to get that backing. Um, and, you know, it's the kids deserve it, and they've always deserved it there. It's just now uh, things are coming together that everybody wants to jump in and, and help support because the chances are there. So um, does that mean anything in particular, or is it just one of those things you kind of got to respect a guy like that that's been at and had that much success, that long, especially a, a younger coach like mm -hmm. you who's – you know, trying to build things up. Yeah, it, it's uh, you got the um, just a great uh, amount of uh, pride and um, and uh, you know respect for a gentleman like uh, Coach Grow. It's uh, it's a dying breed with coaches lasting that long. You know, with so many things going on, uh, I don't know what's going to happen with me next year. I know that I won't be the head coach at Holton, um, and so we're living it as large as we possibly can. But. Uh, to see somebody like Coach Girl last for as long as he did, and the the Steve Wilsons and the the Coach Sugars and and those guys, you know, you look up to those guys because they did last so long. You know, John Harrington, Ben uh, Farmington Hills Harrison. I mean, that guy's an idol, um, and Coach Girl fills right in with them.